and welcome back to my channel. If you have no idea who I am, my name's Lindsay and I'm an art person from Scotland. Hello. Welcome to week three of Portrait Artist of the Week, or me attempting Portrait Artist of the Week. If you haven't seen my previous two videos, week one and week two, I'll briefly explain what it's all about. Um, if you have seen those two, then I'm very sorry. I'll try to do this very quickly. So, Portrait Artist of the Week is the little sister, virtual little sister show of Sky Art's Portrait Artist of the Year, which is basically like Artist's Bake Off. So every Sunday they have a virtual sitter stream sitting still for four hours, 10 till two every Sunday, and everybody around the world who tunes in gets to paint along. And they also have a contestant um, who's previously been on Portrait Artist of the Year sitting and painting too, and there's a live stream and you can see them paint as well. We are currently on week three. Um, last week was Nihal Arthanyaka, who's a, a Radio 5 live a radio presenter, podcast host, all round DJ person. And I'll, I'll show you my painting, hold on. Ooh, this is still kind of wet. Um, this is last week's painting. So this is oil on a canvas board. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, there was a few things that did take a long time, a few wee pernickety things like the headphones and his beard, but I think I kind of got there in the end and I'm quite happy with it. So if you want to see this video, I'll make sure that it's linked in the description or at the end of this video. Um, I'm just trying to be careful because it's still quite tacky. Um, hold on, I'll put this away. This week the celebrity sitter is Melanie Black from All Saints. If you don't know who All Saints are then... <laughs> Who are you and why are you here? Um, All Saints were a girl band famous in the 90s and it's quite funny because uh, the day that it went out was All Saints Day. I say the day it went out <laughs> because today is not actually Sunday. The previous videos I have painted along live every Sunday but <laughs> today is Thursday. Nope, today is Wednesday. <sighs> Lockdown. Today is Wednesday. So, uh, <laughs> hi. Saturday night was Halloween. <laughs> and I didn't really feel like taking part on Sunday because I spent Saturday night on a Halloween Zoom call with my pals dressed as Elton John. <laughs> so I started on Monday um, with an intention of just kind of putting down rough shapes like a sketch and then talking to you today when I'm planning on doing like the majority of the painting because um, on Monday I also still didn't feel like talking to the camera um, I wasn't feeling very well either and I just kind of sat like eh, eh, eh. and I probably wouldn't have been much fun speaking to you guys but I um, ended up making a massive head start on it <laughs> so I'm going to show you a kind of time lapse music-y type thing of my progress that I made on Monday but I'll just quickly explain how I've set up and what I'm using and everything. So during this whole series and like this challenge, I'm making myself use oils, making myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using oils. I've been wanting to get back into oils for ages and I was like this is the perfect challenge and um, perfect practice every week. So this one I'm also using oils. I'm using a uh, canvas. I've been using canvas boards the past two weeks but I accidentally ordered canvases so I'm using canvas <laughs> this week. And last week I also painted on to a red canvas. I painted my canvas bright red before beginning with the intentions that would hopefully give me more vibrant colours. I think it's definitely worked, so I've done it again this week. Um, and I also gridded last week as well, which I'm doing this week. I didn't grid in week one as a challenge to myself. I'm like, I don't need a grid. But because this is like a four hour <laughs> challenge, um, I don't want to spend loads of time on the paintings. And I found that with the Annie Mac one, the week one uh, portrait, that I was spending quite a lot of time moving the nose to the left because I got it wrong initially and the eye to the right because I got it wrong initially and I rushed into it and didn't spend enough time getting a good sketch down. So I've gridded again this week. Um, so yeah, here's a little time lapse a music thing of my progress that I made on Monday.
is what I've got so far. I kind of like it and I actually called my boyfriend through and was like, Brian, I, I think I might be almost finished this painting. Um, I went really blotchy, um, not blotchy, like thick brush strokes and not over blending. And I'm kind of liking how it's going so far. So I think I might make this painting a little bit different from my previous two weeks, which were quite tight and blended and quite accurate. So I think this week, yeah, I might go a little bit different. I'm unsure, I'm unsure. <laughs> um, so come here. Because she has such a big light source, like her windows on this side, there's amazing tones in her face. Whereas the previous two weeks they've been front lit. So I think it will lend itself to being a bit more rough. I'm not sure though. And I also really still like it on the red, <laughs> which was the exact same last week. Cause she's got um, a bright pinky red lipstick. So I, but I think I will paint it out because I think the grey backgrounds which I've done for the previous two weeks, one, it'll look nice if they all look quite similar um, as a series, and two, I think the grey backgrounds that I've been doing before will really complement like her white t-shirt and like the pinky skin tones. I think it'll be a really nice colour palette. Um, so yeah, hmm. I'll twiggle. So I'm going to get uh, on with it now. Uh, I want to try and get this painting done by the end of today, <laughs> but probably not. I still have Thursday before the deadline. Deadlines are 2pm on Friday. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I've got the live playing. Um, so apparently I did it for like an hour and 50 on Monday. <laughs> Whoops. That's a terrible screen grab. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'll just play that so well. Oh, no. Oh. Anyway, so I meant to say the artist who's taken part this week is Inga Duplessis, who um, I'll get her painting to come up on the screen. Her self-portrait that she submitted to get on the show is this painting with a bird on her head. And I can really, this is one of the paintings that I can remember so clearly from watching the show. I just think it's so cool and quite surreal and stuff. So anyway, this is the um, still that I took for my painting. And I'm quite glad. I actually, because I had the luxury of doing it on Monday, I actually sat and listened to their conversation a bit before I decided what type of pose I wanted to get her in. So from what I can gather, it's like she's a mum and she just like really loves her daughter and she's back with her band and she was saying that she's quite a lazy person and just quite like chilling. So I really like this like relaxed pose and just this kind of general little warm smile, I guess. And I don't know, I just think it's really nice and I just can't get over like the light. It's gonna be so good. A bit more up close of how I got on. I am aware that she looks like she's got a moustache just now. <laughs> That's the one thing is with shadow. It's like it's got to be cooler because um, obviously it's a shadow rather than just like a warmer part of her skin. But it's just getting the exact right shade. So I think I've kind of got it here. I just need to extend it over. Um, but you can see there's bits where the red is still showing through. I think I might keep them bare because I don't, I don't know. She's got really nice like pinky flesh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hannibal Lecter, nice to meet you. She's got a really nice pink skin tone, so I think it will kind of complement it if the red is showing through. Oh my god, that's definitely not dry. Um, that is also another thing that I'm quite happy with, is that it is slightly dry, so I can go over and make things darker, make things lighter, and rather than just it all washing into each other. So I think I'm just going to work on the skin tone just now, and then maybe get a layer down of this white um, so I so it can dry a little bit and then I can have hairs coming on top of it. Um, so yeah, here we go. <laughs> So, um, you might, hi, um, so you might have realised I'm jumping between brushes quite a lot. So I'm kind of working with a dark brush, a light brush, and I'm just going to use this brush to mix up a, <laughs> hello, 
like a medium tone rather than me washing my brush and be like, oh, I'm wanting light now, I'm wanting dark now or blah, blah, blah. I'm just keeping dark, light, and then this is going to become, no, dark, medium, and this is going to become a light. And then it's just so much quicker, like my workflow is so different because I think that's one thing that I'm used to because I do um, quite a lot of digital art. It's just been very used to being able to change the colour very quickly. Um, so yeah, it seems to be really working for me. I know I've not I've not came up with this tactic. Ooh. Ooh, it's too close. I'll stay off screen. Um, I've not came up with this tactic. This is a very um, usual classic thing to do. Let's just... I've started doing it, so I just thought you'd might like to know. <laughs> so close. Um, anyway, that's all. Goodbye. Hi. <laughs> so I've been working on it for a little bit longer now. And I was quite, I don't know, I was struggling with, you know, you know, like a couple of minutes ago, like for you guys, anyway, that I was like, oh, it's gonna be so nice with like the tones going from this side of my face to that side. Like, I think in the end it will look good, but it's so hard. But one thing that I have found is that my photo is in Photoshop, like my screenshot. So I've taken the highlights right down. So come see. It's like these areas here, like, they just all blend in, like the cheek blends into the nose. Um, so I'll show you. Like there, you can see how it just kind of blends into each other. So I've taken the highlights down like that. It doesn't stop much of a difference because the camera makes it more contrasty. I'm making sure that I'm gonna leave the eyes to last. Um, I think I've maybe, oh, oh my God, this camera. If any of you out there are like secret millionaires and watch my videos, have a think about maybe buying me a new camera. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave like the detail of the eyes till the end, because that's when I think, if I've got the eyes looking right, I'll become lazy with the skin tones. and be like, that's fine, it's finished. Because um, eyes are like my favorite thing to do. I know they're most people's favorite things to do. But yeah, I'm just kind of getting like, her cheek here, I have blended a little bit more compared to like this area like up here, because she is, feminine, she has a feminine face and it was looking a little bit too masculine because I was making it too blotchy and um, so it, I've kind of blended it and made it a bit more smoother and um, I'm trying to not do it with everything else. I think up here like the highlight on her forehead it works well and I'm just trying to catch bits like that and not over blend them if that makes any sense. It's quite late on the afternoon and because we're in Scotland, it's starting to get very dark. I can paint with like the lights on and stuff, but obviously it makes the painting look way warmer than it actually is in daylight. So <laughs> I did that with my Annie Mac one. Hello. Um, and I was adding like highlights. I was like, yes, yes, this is great. Like into the evening. When I looked at it the next day in daylight, I was like, why is she a ghost? Oh no. Um, so I'm gonna be conscious and yeah. So I think this is working pretty well. Like, you know how I was saying I got the skin tone a bit wrong here? I think having flattened it out and made it like a similar colour to the chin and like the side of her nose, I'm just going in now with a mix of burnt sierra and a tiny bit of burnt umber and I'm just bringing that round her nose because if I actually look at it properly, like look at her face properly, this is all one colour and then her nose is casting a shadow. So I'm just trying to kind of darken up the nostril and then darken up like underneath there, which is maybe here too. But I think that's working um, a little bit better. And I think I'm gonna try and use the same technique for her side of her nose here. So I've also got this on my brush. Maybe put a little bit more. Just ever so slightly, like dab here to kind of show the ball of her nose. Oh, is that right? <laughs> no idea. But I think it's looking a little bit better. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of keep going with this area for a little while. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, 
cool. So I now have the light on, um, even though my white balance on my camera is making me look blue. So I am struggling now with the light. It is super dark and I am at the stage with the skin tones that I do need daylight. So what I think I'm going to do, hmm, I think I'm going to do a second coat of our t-shirt um, so that will maybe by tomorrow have dried ever so slightly that I'll be able to, um, as I said, paint the hairs on top of. But yeah, right, come here. So this is how it's looking so far. I am I'm happy with our nose area here now. I think it kind of all matches like the chin area. By like looking here, like it does go dark and then stays like the same shade and kind of comes round. So I think I've got that. Although I think I've done something with here. It was correct at the start of today and now it's not. Our chin definitely curves in. It needs smoothed out a little bit more, but I think I've made her chin look bigger than it is. Do I paint the background today? I think I will. Um, so I'm adding in some shadows on our t-shirts and I thought I would show you how I'm mixing up my grey colour because um, I'm not using black today. So this is my grey colour here that I'm using, that I'm getting like the folds of her t-shirts. Um, I quite like this one, it's like a really stark like solid line but I think it kind of works and I think it will look cool once the hair is on top of it as well. So what I'm doing to make this a bit darker, um, I'm just taking a bit of this blue which is uh, French ultramarine. <laughs> Can you tell I've got my paintbrush in my mouth? <laughs> and a little bit of ever so slightly tiniest bit of burnt umber and then mixing them with a bit of titanium white and it gives this like cool grey colour, which I'm quite liking. So let me try and do this whilst I'm holding the camera. So add in a bit like that. Hmm, that looks all right. I'm gonna try and mimic some hair strokes when the hair's on top of it. It'll be like the shadow for that bit. Hmm, I think that kind of looks okay. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I don't think I'll do much more. I might do our t-shirt as well just now, like this um, like rainbow design that she's got on her t-shirt. Um, so I'll give you a wee time lapse of that if you want. <laughs> I just feel like this video has been filled with time lapses compared to like my first two weeks, so apologies. Maybe next week will be better? <laughs> Who knows? And I think as well, like my first two weeks, I was able to say more, I, I, like, I don't know, I'm just worried of like, repeat myself from what I've said in previous weeks. Am I rambling? A little bit. Okay, I'm fiddling, I shouldn't be fiddling. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do, because my easel's got this lip, I'm gonna flip it, and then I might just keep this up, and then I'll be able to get in a bit easier. Um, but one tip as well that I would say, if you're working from a photograph or working from a computer screen or tablet screen or whatever, is that it's always super handy to flip your um, painting upside down because then you stop almost looking at it as a person and then you can just start looking at it as shapes. So rather than like just seeing an eyebrow and an eye, you can see maybe that here to here is a bit bigger than it actually is, or not in the right places. Um, and it's a good technique. I do it quite a lot in digital drawings where I actually like flip, like mirror image the portrait just to have a see. Cause like, you're like, oh my God, this looks so good. And then you like flip it mirror image and you're like, <laughs> my God, what have I done? So yeah, that's his handy tip. <laughs> Let's go. me again. Um, so I went in and kind of roughly done the design of our t-shirt and because there's so many different colours and like black, well black and white are involved it's just kind of been a bit smudgy but I think I quite like like this the quick brush strokes of it but I want to go in because there's like you can see that it's a rainbow because there's like green and blue whereas now it, my 
the yellow is just blending into everything else. Um, but it's definitely too dark now and it's actually just come up to the end of the four hours of Portrait Artists of the Year. Um, so I'm going to leave it for today and then work on it a little bit tomorrow. Although I'm going on a social distance walk with my parents and the dogs tomorrow so I don't know what time I'm going to get back. Um, oh my god and it's fireworks night tomorrow. When am I going to get this finished? Oh no, I'll maybe try and squeeze it in the afternoon and then I do have Friday morning. But that's always a bit too much of a rush. Uh -uh. Um, but yeah, I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Hello. So the painting's finished, hi. <laughs> um, I ended up running out of time before the deadline and I ended up finishing it on Friday before the 2 p.m. deadline, like just, and I mean just, like I think I uploaded it at like 1.56 when the deadline's two. Um, so yeah, it's finished, it's finished. I just, painting and filming does take up quite a lot of time and so I just wanted to get the painting done and then out of the way. So I thought I'd just show you the finished painting just now. I feel like this video has been quite long compared to my other ones um, and it's not even been the best painting. <laughs> anyway, hold on, I'll show you. Ta -ding! Here you go, uh, I'll come see. So here's the finished painting. I usually do like a up close and like zoomy in montage when a painting's finished but I feel like I kind of owe it to you to kind of talk you through what I did when since we last spoke. So this has been um there it's there's been time since, since this painting's finished um, so it's very dry. I went in and added hair over the top of the t-shirt um with like quite thick brush strokes but I think it kind of works with like the chunkiness of it all and like this is just a shit show down here but I think you don't really notice by the time like by the time like you're zoomed out um, and then went in and painted in the grey background um, but I think that kind of works I think overall it's like a really nice I think I said this at the start of the video it's a really nice colour palette like her pinky skin tone not flesh as I previously said um, and yeah I think it's all right it's fine it's fine <laughs> so I'll give you some more up close details of it I think in the end I was really struggling with this bit but I was like quite successful in the end but I think the one thing about this painting compared to my other paintings is the fact that her eyes are really dark and for me eyes are always like my favourite part of a painting and usually adding in like some highlights and stuff but she didn't have any highlights on her eyes because of the way she was lit even though I kept saying how feckin amazing it was, was. <laughs> she was lit that way um, so yeah it's fine it's not the best that I've done like by far um, but I did it, which I'm chuffed about. So that's done and out of the way and I have already done the other painting for week four. <laughs> um, I've just been trying to chase my tail for a little while. Um, so yeah, that's done and that'll be coming to you very soon. So yeah, watch out for the next video where I paint the journalist Sumira Ahmed. Um, so yeah, that's coming soon. <laughs> I feel like this one's been a bit of a shit show, so uh, sorry, I don't know. Ugh. Um, but yeah, please remember to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let's me know if you're liking this paint series, because I'm really enjoying it. I just feel like for quite a while on this channel I was doing, I wasn't really doing art things, <laughs> and I'm an art person. So it's quite nice to be able to do stuff that I'm eventually like, I don't know, that I'm happy about. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye. Are you listening? Damn.